All right, here's our last video in section 7.2 regarding domain and range. Maybe you saw this practice problem on your notes. Um, I'd be happy if you pause the video, uh, found the domain of this function, and made sure that your answer matches mine. You should get that any x would work except for x equals 1. All right, the last little example we're going to do in 7.2 talking about domain is a little bit of an application problem. You know, why is domain important? Well, sometimes, especially in real world problems, it doesn't make sense to say that every number will work, right? When we're measuring length or distance, we don't really say negative four feet, right? Negative numbers don't really make sense. Those wouldn't be in our domain. Or if we're talking about time, it doesn't make sense for time to be negative. We can have a half of a second, we can have a half of an hour. Fractions make sense, but negative numbers wouldn't make sense if we're talking about time. So sometimes we have some domain restrictions when we're talking about certain real life application problems. Let me show you an example. Example number seven says, the amount A of coffee that consumers are willing to buy at price P is given by this equation. What is the domain of the function? Well, we have P, which is our input, our X value, if you wanna think of it that way, and then we have our output, the amount. Depending on the price will depend on how many people buy your coffee. If you sell your coffee for $1, a certain amount of people will buy it. If you sell your coffee for $7, a certain amount of people will buy it. Probably less, but still, I've seen the line at Starbucks, right? But let's talk about what our restrictions might be. Well, it doesn't make sense for our price to be negative. Right? There's no such thing. I mean, you can't, they're not going to pay you to drink their coffee. So our price has to probably be greater than or equal to zero. So if price is P, then P has to be greater than or equal to zero. So it looks like that's our minimum. But what's our maximum? Can we just keep charging and charging and charging and raise that price and raise that price and raise that price and people are going to keep buying our coffee? Probably not. So our amount of money in coffee also has to have some sort of a limit. Well, the amount also probably can't be negative either, right? It doesn't make sense to sell a negative amount of coffee. And so our price has to probably be greater than or equal to zero. P is greater than or equal to zero, but our um, amount of coffee that we sell probably has to be greater than or equal to zero or else it doesn't really make any sense. So if our amount is the negative 2.5 P plus 26.5, if that's our amount and it has to be greater than or equal to zero, well then I should be able to make an equation that looks like this. The negative 2.5p plus 26.5 has to be greater than or equal to zero. Well, what that's going to allow me to do is solve for p and maybe get another restriction. We already know that p has to be greater than or equal to zero, but can it be anything else? Well let's see. If I subtract 26.5 from both sides, and I divide by negative 0.2. Remember when we're doing inequalities, anytime you divide by a negative, you've got to switch your inequality sign. So you end up getting P has to be less than or equal to 10.6. So we have P has to be greater than or equal to zero, but it has to be less than or equal to 10.6. Or remember P means price. So it looks like the lowest my domain, my P is, is $0. The highest it's going to be, or else people are going to stop buying my coffee, is $10.60. So it looks like my domain is 0 to $10.60. Anything higher than that, my amount would be negative. Anything lower than that, my price would be negative. And neither of those really make sense in context to this problem. So you have to kind of think about the scenario sometimes, especially if it's a, a word problem or an application problem. What answers make sense? And if they don't make sense, then they're not really part of your domain.